Hello, I am Dr. Melissa Bird, and I am a clairvoyant coach and public speaker. I am also a lay preacher in the Episcopal Church and a practicing witch. I have written four books about advocacy and community building, and my core purpose is to use my talents as a healer to help women tap into their intuition and harness their passion so that make can different they can make a difference in their lives and their communities. I'm so excited to prevent for you the five ways that you can use your intuition to engage in graceful revolution. I came up with the term graceful revolution when I had a dream about it. And it's all about infiltrating spaces of power using what we know inside ourselves to be true. And so I have developed a couple of different ways for you to be able to engage in acts of graceful revolution that change the fabric of people's lives. And the first thing that I want you to think about as you're learning about how to use your intuition to engage in acts of graceful revolution is to speak your truth, even if your voice shakes. It's truly one of my most favorite memes that we have out in the internet. Um, and I want you to really, when you think about speaking your truth, I really want you to think about what it would look like and feel like to stand in a mirror and speak honestly to yourself first. So oftentimes we, um, we think we're speaking our truth, but we're ignoring the voice, that intuitive voice that is trying to tell us what to say. And so the way that you can practice this is to stand in the mirror and speak honestly to yourself first. And I, this is a great prompt that my mentor actually gave me um, to help me peel back what my truth is and my authentic self. And here's the prompt that I want you to use when you stand in the mirror and speak honestly. When I look in the mirror, I am completely honest and am completely honest with myself. I realize, and then you fill in the blank. So stand in front of the mirror and say to yourself, when I look in the mirror and am completely honest with myself, I realize blank. And when you do that, your voice starts to amplify and you become better able to speak your truth to the people in the world around you. The second way you can tap into your intuition to engage in graceful revolution is to really communicate your purpose. Communication isn't just about speaking. It's also about listening and hearing. And so there's two things that you can use to communicate your purpose. The first one is in identifying your divine assignment. And that is the thing that you are here to do in the world that is uniquely yours and no one else's. So for example, my divine assignment and my divine purpose is to help amplify the voices of women by helping them use their intuition to engage in making change in their communities. And so I do that by through coaching, um, through channeling, through um, speaking, really helping women listen to that sometimes very loud voice and sometimes still small voice that happens inside of them that is their intuition, helping lead them to their divine assignment. So your divine assignment is what turns you on and lights you on fire. It's your passion. It's the thing that makes you go. Ee! So the way you communicate your purpose is to really understand your purpose, your divine assignment, the reason that you are here. And oftentimes we ignore that. We try and write it off as something that's not important. We try to ignore what the universe is telling us. And so to really think about what is your passion, what turns you on and what lights you on fire and write it down. And that's how you get to communicating your purpose. The third way of harnessing the power of your intuition to engage in graceful revolution is to listen to your heart. And there's two questions that I love to journal about when I'm thinking about what is my heart trying to tell me about what I'm doing in the world. The first question is ask yourself, where am I hungry? What am I craving? So asking yourself, where am I hungry? And the second question is, what are you craving? What am I craving? And when you think about that, 
It's not just about getting a good cheeseburger and fries, right? Like, where am I hungry for expansion? Where am I hungry for rest? Where am I hungry for joy? What am I craving? And then when you tap into that beat of what you're searching for, you can tap into your own heartbeat. And when you listen to that, it completely changes the way you interact with making a difference in your life and in your community. Really think about where can you listen more to your heart by asking yourself, what am I hungry for and what am I craving? The fourth thing that uh, I really encourage you to do is to connect with Mother Earth. This beautiful, amazing planet, whether you live in a city or in a rural area or in a town, when you bring more nature into your life, you start to see the imperfections of the world. And when you do that, you can bring more divine energy into your work and stop worrying about doing your work perfectly. So I want you to think about something that has occurred in nature that you love, whether it's a rose, what's your favorite flower, what's your favorite tree, what's your favorite animal, and I want you to think about how, for example, one of my most favorite things um, is a peony. I love peonies. They're my favorite flower. And when those peonies bloom and I start to watch them bloom, I look at them and I think, gosh, what beautiful color, what beautiful petals. I love the leaves. I don't ever look at a peony and say, oh my God, you are so beautiful but you're not blooming exactly perfectly. And I wish you would just bloom symmetrically perfectly. You don't ever look at a bee that lands on the peony and go, oh, hey bee, like you are doing such a great job pollinating that flower, but I, I need your stripes to be a little more perfect. I need your wings to be perfect. You're not collecting that pollen perfectly. We don't ever do that with anything in nature. So why do we do that to ourselves? We are naturally occurring beings in nature. So when you connect more to Mother Earth and you bring more nature into your life, whether you live in a city or you live in the middle of nowhere, by bringing more nature into your life, you bring more divine feminine energy into your work. And it helps to remind you that you are here right now at this moment on purpose with purpose. And when you remember that, then it completely changes the way you interact with the world and you don't have to be so damn perfect. So when you connect with mother earth, you release this need for perfection and it allows you to tap into your intuition and listen to the messages that you get to do this work. The fifth thing is to know thyself and love yourself. Really know who you are. When I first introduced myself to you, I gave you a whole lot of information about the contradictions of who I am. I'm a preacher and a witch, hashtag Christian witch. I am um, a business owner and a mother. Um, I am a public speaker and a clairvoyant coach. I have all of these things that are part of who I am. And we are all like that. And so instead of denying the things about ourselves that people may or may not like, really know who you are. And then give yourself a chance to feel love at a higher level. And the way we do that begins with self-compassion and self-love first. So this is your invitation to have compassion for yourself and love for yourself first. And when you start your days and end your days by saying to yourself, I welcome love at the highest level. I have compassion for the things that I screwed up today and yesterday and the week before. And I have compassion for the things I did awesome and I exploded with. When you have self-love and self-compassion, for yourself first, then you can have it for other people afterwards. And you don't end up so exhausted and so drained, which is why it's really important to listen to your intuition 
when you do the work that you are meant to do in the world. Because when you're tapped into your intuition, you're limitless in your capacity to give and receive love. And love is the universal law. There are no other truths. And so when you embrace your imperfections, you speak your truth, even if your voice shakes, you communicate your purpose and tap into your purpose. You listen to your heart, you connect with mother earth and you know yourself and you love yourself first. Everything changes in the world. I am so grateful that I got to talk to you today and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.